Welcome to my real estate dojo with Mr. Investor. Gang, today I'm going to be talking about 42 ways to find motivated sellers totally for free or almost for free. All right, we have a lot to cover. We'll just go ahead and dive in and get rocking. Uh, the number one way to find motivated sellers for free is basically get on Facebook and find what I call Facebook leaders. These individuals have a thousand followers, two thousand followers, ten thousand followers. And what you're going to do is you're going to contact these Facebook leaders and ask them to promote your company in the messages that they post on Facebook. And in return, maybe you'll give them ten bucks, twenty bucks, fifty bucks a month, or whatever it is. Or in exchange, you'll do something to scratch their back for them to promote your company. This is a very effective way to get targeted eyeballs to come to your company or to your website to generate leads for a very, very small amount of money. The next thing you could do is what I call the human billboard. Uh, in a nutshell, you go to a sign company or you can make it yourself, you can get a big old sign, wear it in the front of it in the back that says we buy houses, any condition, your phone number, and you're gonna stand on the corners of a busy intersection and walk around and pace back and forth during rush hour time. This is very, very effective. It costs a very, very small amount of money and you can get a good return on your investment. Another thing you could do that's for free or almost for free is basically contact blog leaders. And what, what do I mean by blog leaders? There's a lot of bloggers out there in the home improvement and insurance and cars, whatever, fitness, and you're going to contact these people that have a lot of followings, okay? A thousand, five thousand, twenty thousand. Believe it or not, there's bloggers out there with a hundred thousand viewers or followers. And you're going to ask them to do the same thing you did with the Facebook leaders. Say, hey, every time you post a blog, please on the bottom include my company or my company's web address or a signature. And in return, I'm going to do X for you. I'm going to give you 50 bucks a month or I'm going to scratch your back. Use your, use your mind, be creative because it doesn't have to always be about exchanging money. You can just scratch their back, they're going to scratch your back. And your job is to come up with a creative way to scratch somebody's back, okay? If you don't have 50 bucks to give that uh, blog leader. Another thing you do is the same thing as the blog leader or Facebook leader is to do Twitter leaders. There's a lot of people out there, bands, uh, DJs, or gurus or things of that nature that have thousands and thousands of followers and you're going to go in on Twitter, find these people and solicit to them, say, hey, every time you post a tweet, make sure you include my company's signature, what I do, and in return I will scratch your back. That has worked out greatly for me and I know it's going to work out greatly for you, okay? Another thing you could do is call Fit for Dollars. Yep, you heard it right. It's called Fit for Dollars. And what, what does that mean? Well, it means you get up in the mornings, maybe with your wife, maybe with your kids, maybe with your pet, and you're going to go for a walk, you're going to go for a jog, or you're going to go rollerblading or ride a bicycle, you know, and, and get fit while you're looking for uh, distressed houses in your neighborhood. So what you're going to do is in the morning you're going to get up, put on your jogging shoes, go out there and start running and looking for abandoned or distressed houses, houses that have tall grasses, houses that have... Uh, that haven't got any love, houses that, that uh, have a lot of flyers in front of their doors, which all symbolizes of distressed properties, okay? And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna contact those people by knocking on their doors and let them know what you do, which is, hey, I'm an investor, I buy houses, what's your situation, etc. okay? This is a very effective way to make money and get fit. That's, what it, that's why I coined the name Fit for Dollars. Now listen up, this is a very good way to uh, find free uh, motivated sellers. You get on YouTube, all right, and you're gonna do keywords as we buy houses in a city. For example, I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, so I've made about 30 videos, and it basically says we buy houses in Dallas, we buy houses in Irving, we buy houses in Frisco, we buy houses in Fort Worth. And Upload those on YouTube and make sure you tag them right and you use the right titles. Like I said, we buy houses in Fort Worth. Believe it or not, there's a lot of people searching on YouTube. YouTube is the number two search engine in the world. And so you are going to be able to generate some leads from that. And what you do is 
on the YouTube description, you're gonna put your web address on there. So when somebody watches that video, they can click on the bottom of that YouTube and go to your website or your landing page or your squeeze page and the buyer, the visitor is gonna fill out the form, which means you're gonna get a lead or you're gonna receive a phone call. This is a very effective way to advertise. It costs zero dollars besides your time or what I call sweat equity. Another great way to advertise, and this is what I've created myself, it's very, very, very creative, is that if you live in a large city like Houston, like Dallas, like Austin, or large metroplex, there's a lot of homeless people out there or people that pedal for coins or dollars. And what you could do is you could make t-shirts like this that says, hey, we buy houses, any condition or phone number, and you could go out and give these t-shirts to the homeless people or people that are peddling for money. And in return, the homeless people are going to get something in benefit, a t-shirt, because they're homeless, they don't have any money. And in return, what you're going to get is, while these homeless people are outside at the busiest intersections, walking around asking for money, they're constantly wearing your shirt and advertising on your behalf. This is what I call a win-win-win. You win as the investor, the homeless person wins because they get a free shirt, and the person driving by wins by calling you. Okay? Very creative way to advertise. It costs a very small amount of money. Okay? Now, another way to advertise for free to find motivated sellers is through online classifieds. Okay? Now, there's two ways to do this. Number one is what I call passive. You make ads on Craigslist and you post them on there. All right? And you wait for the visitors to call you. That's why it's called passive. The next way, which is I like even better, is that it's called proactive. What you do is you get on the rental section or you get on the for 